words of Jack Hoffman, cancer sucks. And today marks the start of Brain Tumor Awareness Month. And two families hope their efforts can make it a little less painful for kids battling pediatric brain cancer. Jack Hoffman's 69 yard touchdown run captured the hearts of millions. I was thinking about scoring a touchdown or maybe tripping on my shoelace or maybe thinking of it come untied. And Tyson Zimmer's dying wish brought tears to our eyes. I sing Big Green Tractor because that's my favorite. Two Nebraska boys who gained national prominence in their fight against pediatric brain cancer. People watch the video, they see this, this little boy, you know, score a touchdown and they, they find out that he has brain cancer. Um, you know, those are people that might not even have known that kids get brain cancer. And making it go away starts with making people aware that it exists in the first place. Two families who realize putting an end to childhood cancer goes beyond Tyson and Jack. It's the little things, like the other families that we see in the infusion center that say, you know, you're doing a great job with getting awareness out about pediatric cancer. Um, thanks for what you're doing. You go around, you can see billboards and commercials about breast cancer, and everybody knows breast cancer. Um, our big thing when Ty was sick, um, people didn't realize when we had the wristbands made and they were gray, they always kind of questioned, well, why did you choose gray? And we let them know that that's the symbol for brain cancer, and so many people didn't know it. 3,000 kids each year battle pediatric brain cancer, and the first line of treatment is 25 years old. You know, if you think back 25 years ago, I had a cassette tape player on my hip, and I had a cell phone that was in a bag, and they're able to GPS locate anybody in the world through a satellite, and we can get pinpoint accuracy to where they exist, but we can't make medicine any better. There's 130 different tumor types, and all of these different tumor types have different genetic mutations, which, you know, help 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 these tumors advance and grow and take off and so you really have to unlock each of those you know mutations and for the Hoffmans they hope to turn the run with 8 million views on YouTube into something more um, what we you know what we want to try to do is turn those views into dollars um, you know for, for research and uh, you know that's that's really ultimately what what this is about and what we're trying to make it about is to you know let's let's draw the attention back to the disease so people can just take a pill and instead of having brain cancer. Is that your wish? Meanwhile, Tyson's parents are honoring the little boy they lost in 2012 by starting Tyson's Treasure Chest Foundation to give toys to kids stuck in the hospital. These kids are going through so much, they don't deserve to have hand-me-downs to play with when they're done. You know, we need to give them the fun toys, the, the new stuff, and, and make them feel special and spoiled because they don't feel special and spoiled when they're at home sick and their friends are outside playing. Most kids that go in, they can't afford to bring their own iPad, so why not set some up with the hospital so that they can sit there and play games and feel like a normal child even though they're sitting in a hospital bed. Whether it's Big Green Tractor. I hear it on the radio. I'll to my mom, turn it back, turn it up. Or scoring a touchdown. I was like, did I score a touchdown or not? <laughs> their two journeys with one goal. Now the Team Jack Foundation is selling Believe t-shirts with 100% of the proceeds going toward pediatric brain cancer research. Tyson's Treasure Chest Foundation is just getting off the ground and they hope to get the supplies to build their first treasure chest soon.